Today we will learn about curves. Have you tried drawing a picture using a pencil on the paper? If you have not done it, then give it a try. Many times to draw certain pictures we have to make some shape and we use straight lines or zigzag lines. Mostly these lines are drawn on paper without picking up the pencil. Just as we have drawn a tree here. Similarly, we can draw mountains, clouds, waterfalls, road, etc. A continuous line drawn on paper without picking up the pencil from paper is called a curve. However, curve is usually a zigzag line. But it is not necessary that a curve is always a zigzag line. If we make a straight line on paper without picking up the pencil, then also it is known as a curve. Now look at these curves. What is the difference between these curves? Think for a while. These curves do not have a line that cut themselves, whereas these curves cut themselves. When a curve does not cut itself, then we call it a simple curve. If a curve cuts over itself, then it is a non-simple curve. Some curves start from a place and ends in the same place. That means it doesn't have an initial point or a final point, which means that their ends are joined. Such curves whose ends are joined are called closed curves, just like the curves shown here. If we look at this curve, we will find that it starts at one point and ends at another point. That means that the ends of this curve are not joined. Such curves whose ends are not joined are called open curves. The start and end points of such curves are different. The curves shown here are open curves. Can you identify open curves and closed curves from the given figures? Try it. Here, curves A, C and E are closed curves as the ends of these curves are joined. However, if we see the figures B, D and F, their ends don't meet. Therefore, all of these curves are open curves. When we talk about a closed curve, we say they have three parts. The part inside the curve, the part of the curve and part outside the curve. Part inside the curve is called its interior. Part outside the curve is called its exterior and the part of curve is called its boundary. Interior and boundary of curve together forms its region. Now you must have understood about curve. So today we learned about curves. In the next video, we will learn some interesting examples of curves.